Hello, Yesi. Hey. Yeah. We're here at the International Animal Rights Conference in Luxembourg. And uh, you are here um, representing um, Sentience Institute. Right? I am, and I'm giving a talk tomorrow on the end of animal farming. Right. Can you tell me a bit uh, about Sentience Institute? What is it? Sure. We're a think tank focused on expanding humanity's moral circle. So in general, increasing the number of beings for whom society extends social, political, legal concern, uh, considers their interests. Ideally, in the long run, we want the moral circle to include all sentient beings, but right now we're mostly focused on the case of farmed animals because they're kind of the frontier of the moral circle. Right. And then what do you do there? I'm the research director, um, and I'm the co-founder. We just started a year ago. Um, we have four team members now, um, including one who's focused on technology, so looking at things like um, GMOs or biofuels and seeing how technologies succeed and fail because other technologies like uh, clean meat, for example, are really important for expanding the moral circle, making it easier for people to stop eating animals, for example. Mm. And research is what you focus on in the whole institute, right? Yeah, exactly. So we have an executive director, Kelly Whitwicky, uh, who's, who's our leader and is managing and doing all of that work. Um, and then the rest of us are focused on research. We're really providing evidence to, to advocates and to anyone who's interested in expanding the moral circle for them to be more effective. So we're not doing it ourselves, we're more supporting others who would like to work on that. Okay. Yeah, and as you mentioned, you will be having a talk here tomorrow about your uh, upcoming book. Yeah. Tell us more about that. So it's the end of animal farming. Uh, it's the culmination of the research I've done in the field and others have done. And it outlines a roadmap towards a animal-free food system. So looking at technology, but also looking at social change like grassroots activism, um, corporate policy change, legal work, um, and how that's moving us towards an animal-free food system, what's most likely to succeed. And, and the talk's going to focus a lot on when are things most likely to succeed. So what will happen in 2025? What will happen in 2050? And I argue that by the end of the century, we'll see a complete end to animal farming around the world. Okay, total end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because when I talk to animal rights people, they think that that's a really long timeline. Oh, wow, it's going to take so long. Mm -hmm. But when I talk to the general public, they're like, oh, it's going to be so soon. But I think a lot of why it's going to take that long is because we have to expand to countries that currently are, are pretty poor right now, and the people don't have as much of a choice in what they can eat. Um, but we're going to see rising incomes over the century, is, is my best guess. Mm -hmm. um, and that will allow them to eat both you know, whole plant-based foods, but also the new technology that comes out as it reaches economies of scale, gets cheaper, because really animal agriculture is so inefficient and so wasteful that if we have the infrastructure for animal-free food production, it will be cheaper and it will feed the planet more sustainably. Mm. And your book will come out not only in English, but in some other languages as well, right? Yeah, so right now we're in discussions with uh, foreign publishers, and one of them is uh, considering publishing it in Swedish. Um, if we were to do that, it would have a... Uh, chapter on the Swedish animal agriculture system and some other, you know, changes to make it more relevant for that audience. Um, but it will be available in English and it ships worldwide. Um, mm. And that will come out November 6th. And then mm. the foreign translations will come out in the coming months and years. Great. Thank you so much. Jesse. Thank you. And thanks for all you do for animals. Yeah, thank you.